Togo's National Election Commission has revoked the credentials of the National Consultation of Civil Society of Togo to dispatch 500 observers nationwide for Saturday's presidential election. The commission accuses the group of preparing to carry out interference during the vote. Incumbent Faure Nasingbe is running for a fourth term and longtime opposition leader Jean-Pierre Fabre is running for a third time. Five other candidates are competing, including former Prime Minister Gabriel Messan Ayebome Kojo, who represents a coalition of opposition and civil society groups. Some experts believe Nasibe could win in the first round without having to go to a runoff vote. He enacted a law last year limiting presidents to two five-year terms. However, it does not account for the three terms Nasingbe has already served so he could stay in power until 2030. Now for more on Saturday's election, VOA reporter Arman Ungbo joins me by phone from Lome. Hello, Arman. Give us the latest news on Saturday's vote. Arman, can you hear me? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm hearing you. According to the commission, uh, everything is already immediately known when they during a press conference attended by all of the observers in the country by different institutions, ECOWAS, the African Union, and the community of Sahel Saharan State. So back to your question, yes, everything is ready, and the Independent National Electoral Commission Institute, which is an American NGO, the electoral body accused them, among other things, of uh, interfering with electoral operations. Uh, director of one of the organization, the National Civil Society Consultation, with whom I uh, just spoke, told me that uh, he really doesn't know why his uh, organization is accused, and uh, he rejected all the charges against him. Uh, he announced that uh, he will not the decision after the election in order to establish the truth. But uh, in the meantime, other observers, particularly internationals, one are increasing the meeting with the authorities in charge of the election to find out exactly what they are accused of. So, uh, what are Togolese voters looking forward to after tomorrow's vote? Uh, as you already know, more than 3.6 million voters are expected to be called tomorrow for an election that people in Togo hope will give new impetus to development in the country, uh, in particular for the youth. They say they need jobs, a good economy, infrastructure, and of course a good health system, uh, especially for women. Armand, thank you very much for your reporting. VOA's Armand Ungo. My pleasure. Reporting from Lome in Togo.